Hello Fancy Sisters, today I'm going to be talking about a few foundation trials that I have gone through in the past few months. In the past few months I mean like in the past six months because I filmed them and then I was like, what do I want to do with these? Um, so I decided to put them all into one big video. So I think I've got four foundations to talk about. And in New Zealand we tend to get these little like sample pots made to try products out before buying them. Um, some of the products are really expensive here. <laughs> I don't know about anywhere else. So especially for the more expensive ones like the Laura Mercier, it's actually nice to try out the product as we can't return products if we don't like them. So most of these ones came from Mecca um, and they don't have anything written on them. So I have no idea what each of these pots are, but I do believe that there is the Laura Mercier Flawless Foundation, maybe? A Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, a Bobbi Brown Tinted Moisturizer, and then the Fenty Ease Drops, which were from Sephora actually because we have Fenty and Sephora. So I am the lightest shade in most of these products though not all of them anymore which is actually really lovely so I have quite warm toned skin um, and it's light and it's kind of like I would say in the normal range now it doesn't get too oily but I do have some dry spots so I guess it's a combination maybe but if you'd like to see my first impressions on these foundations then just keep watching so this is the laura mercier tinted moisturizer i am not in the same room that i normally am i have house sitting and cat sitting so lighting's a bit whack but that's okay <laughs> but you can kind of see that the foundation is not quite the best color match but the coverage is really nice for a tinted moisturizer um the lighting really sucks here. I'll have to find another wall, I think. Um, but looks good so far. I'll update you halfway through the day. And this is the tinted moisturizer about eight hours after applying. It wears really well, and I can see a little spot just slightly there where it's worn off. And I find that around my lips, it looks like it pales out as well, which is kind of weird. But overall, it looks pretty good and quite luminous. It's not too shiny in the T-zone even though it is spring here so the weather is getting a little bit warmer it still looks quite good i just don't like the color i feel like it looks a bit a bit off but otherwise really really lovely formula and one that i would consider if i could get a bit of color i'm actually not sure what color they gave me because they didn't write on this one but i have a feeling that it's not the yellow one that i asked for because it looks pretty like pinkish um, on the back of my hand so i will have to see about this one Okay, so here is the Laura Mercier foundation this time, and this one is in the lightest warm shade, which I think is called Ivory, which is a really, really nice shade match for me. Um, it's hard to tell because I'm wearing a longer neck um, and messing that up, of course, but it matches really well, matching my face to my neck. My hands are a different color, they're slightly darker. Oh, they look wild in this lighting. Again, not in my house, house sitting. The foundation applies really nicely, really easily, and I think that it looks quite nice on the skin. It does cover up a few little sections. Hi! 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 You're here to ruin my video! Okay, I will feed you. Hi! We're just gonna have meowing in the background. <laughs> We can see that it covers a little bit of the scars. It doesn't cover the birth <laughs> I know. It will be just like 30 seconds, I promise. But it looks really nice on the rest of the skin and it doesn't make any wrinkles look any worse. Because it's a higher coverage one. I wanted to show you what it looked like when I smiled. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't sit into the little fine lines there at all, which is really nice. Doesn't make them look worse or any older. Same with the little forehead wrinkles. Doesn't make them look worse either, which is good because now that I am in my 30s, <laughs> she's so insistent. Now that I'm in my 30s, that's one of the things that I'm more looking for in foundations that I wasn't when I was in my 20s. I'm gonna go feed the cat and I will check in with you guys in the afternoon. I almost forgot to give the prerequisite cat tax. She has been fed and she already had food. So I'm not really sure what she's meowing for, but there she is. Gilly girl. Hi. She's a sweet girl. So this is how the foundation is looking at the moment. It is pretty good. 
I've got a little bit of mascara smudging and you can definitely see that it's a bit oily on the nose but it's not too bad honestly the mascara is mostly because it's just getting a bit dry and old I need a new one <laughs> but the coverage has held up pretty well we don't have too big of a wear spot just a little one there and otherwise it's looking pretty nice so I would say probably not for people with very oily skin but it's certainly quite nice I would say like I think maybe like the lighting the overhead lighting is making it look a little worse but I'm okay with this so definitely one that I would wear again I've gone through like they gave me two little tester pots and I almost used up both of them because I really like this one so maybe one that I have to get still not my favorite wall but that's okay I'm <laughs> recording this before I do my fringe because Otherwise, you will not see my forehead. But this is the Fenty Eavesdrops in shade number one. I know this because I got it from Sephora and they actually wrote it on the thing for me. It's so wild. Like, the <laughs> the window is so bright here, but, like, the lighting is still so, so average. Still on the same house that I'm house sitting. I'm very conflicted by the Fenty one because it's kind of hard to apply. I don't know why. It just feels very, like, I need a lot of product to apply it. It doesn't go very far. Um, and I think it's because it's more of a matte finish than like a moisturizing dewy finish So I can't like kind of move around as much. It kind of sticks to the skin a bit But it is a really good color like that is excellent <laughs> Obviously not the birthmark And it does look nice on the skin so when we're up close you can definitely see some freckles which I really like personally there are can still see some of the flaws on the skin. Obviously, a birthmark will not be covered. So going to turn the exposure down. There we go. It's less aesthetically appealing, but and like it's a little bit dark, but I think it still looks good. I like the coverage. It feels very matte. It feels very nice and very set. And I don't think it makes any like fine lines pop out or anything like that. Let's try that again. They're a little dry. Right, like these ones here. This is fine, but it's, it's pretty deep, so. Normally I'd kind of smell like, you can still see a little bit of lines there. Um, same with the forehead lines. They're pretty good. So overall, I think that the ease drops, like are they a foundation or a tinted moisturizer? I don't really know. I think that they look nice and I will check in with you guys later on in the day. I'll remember to take the camera with me this time so that I don't forget and have to use my phone. So this is the Fenty after about eight hours, eight and a bit, and it looks pretty good. So the skin is still looking very matte, still feels very matte. Around the nose, there is a tiny, tiny bit of shine, but not really that much at all. And there's not really any loss of coverage. So a few little like nose grip marks as usual. And there's a little bit of um, under eye rub from the mascara but the foundation itself looks really good um, and again really good color I love that and yeah then I think with the Fenty one the only thing is that I find it harder to apply than the other foundations but the color is really good and the finish is really good as well this is the Bobbi Brown tinted skin something I haven't got it written down in the lighter shade this one is a bit dark still in comparison to my neck and it's really patchy and really bad underneath my eyes I don't think they look so bad in this angle but like I've just got this really dark shadow that I don't normally have I wonder if something happened last night maybe I didn't get enough sleep but this is <laughs> the foundation is doing like nothing for that at all it looks so prominent which is weird because I wouldn't consider that like dark circles are normally one of the things that I struggle with um, there's not a huge amount of coverage for any of the scars, but that's fine. But I also feel like it looks really, really patchy around like parts of my mouth. <laughs> I don't know why, but there's like darkness around here. And then on the chin, it's lighter where I think it's rubbed off. And then around the lips, it's also lighter. Same with on my cheek in random places. You get some kind of like... I'm not sure if it's parts that have rubbed off or not. 
Um, it's really hard to tell, but overall it's definitely not a favorite and not one that I will be wearing. It's been about, what's the time now? Yeah, it's been about six hours and we don't look super oily or anything. Um, my skin still feels okay, but yeah, the coloring is off and then, I don't know, just the way it sits on the skin is weird. Not my favorite. So out of all of the foundations, I actually only bought one of them full size. I got the Laura Mercier, even though it wasn't the one that had the best longevity on my skin, it had the best application and it had the best color. So it's the one that I'm wearing at the moment. And I find that it works really, really well. It just was a little bit more expensive. I also got a like deluxe mini of the Laura Mercier um, tint and moisturizer. Um, I actually got that from the American Sephora. My, pa my partner bought them back over when he was over there from uh, full work in New York City. And it's okay. It's not my favorite. I bought it for like travel. Um, but it's not really the right color. It does look a little bit off even though it's the lightest of the warm colors It's definitely not the same color as this one. So a little bit disappointing, but it's okay Happy that I didn't buy the full size at least. So let me know if you guys enjoy this format of getting a lot of different products in one quicker video um, And I can always make some more I am looking for another I'm still looking for another tinted moisturizer or tint like low coverage foundation. At the moment I'm using the Glossier but I don't really like it that much so I will definitely be getting more tester products so if you'd like to see what I think of them then please just let me know. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.